peace and greetings, peace and greetings for you. From the uh for your peoples, your guy, Brother Divine, representative of Culture Shock LLC. We having a sit down Sunday interview on uh actually day 14 of the blog Life as an Entrepreneur. So I brought, you know, my first musician to do an interview because I want to give, you know, perspective, you know, from a music a musician's perspective, because you know, being in the music business, it is business. So uh, we're just gonna go ahead and jump into the interview. I want to end uh, want you to introduce yourself to your business and your brand. Yo, what's good? It's your boy Kuna. We here right here in my first studio, this host house two five six. Um it shit just we just got the keys yesterday. Um I just released a brand new album called Digital Skylines on all streaming platforms. And I'm coming out with a brand new plug on called Crystal Chaos. Look for it in the next month. Okay, okay, so question, how long have you been uh, in business for yourself? In business? Um, I'm not gonna lie, I've been to I've been doing music since I was fourteen, but I wasn't looking at it from a business perspective at all until I hit eighteen, like you know what I'm saying? That's when I kinda hit the world on my own. And I still wanted to be able to do what I love and you know, let me still be able to get some money out the back end, you know what I'm saying? Indeed. So uh what it actually inspired you to create, you know, this brand of uh, music that you come out with? Um honestly I just feel like there's a lot of like Italian black males who make we we make a lot of the same music about the same thing, telling the same story. I kinda just wanted to branch out and use different genres to tell my story. You know? it's, just, it's like different color paint, you know what I'm saying? Um, I really just wanted to branch into my roots. Like I didn't even start making music with hip hop, you know what I'm saying? I started off in bands playing guitar, being a vocalist, and being a drummer. And that's kind of all that stuff from for real, for real. Okay, so what are your goals that you want to achieve with this brand of music that you bring to the world? Um, righteously, I feel like the band is like the band scene was like a huge thing when I was in high school, and I kind of want to bring that feeling of not only nostalgia but that feeling of like rage. Like rage music has made a big comeback. Yeah. Like everybody's making the same flavor of rage music. I wanted to really rage out. I feel like the only way I could do that is with some guitars and some drums and stuff, you know? Okay, okay. So, on this musical journey, can you explain to the people watching this some, um, maybe some highs that you might have had and maybe some lows that you might have had? Um, I definitely one of the highs is the people that you meet. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you will come in contact with some raw, grimy ass people. But there's some good ass people out there too. Like I got my brother, he's sitting right over there, who working right there in the studio. My boy Ozzy, um, I met him as soon as I came down to Alabama and started doing music, and we've been together ever since, going hard. Um, I would definitely say another high is um, being an artist. You don't you make music with the goal in mind of blowing up. So getting the recognition and pay you deserve and you know you've been working hard as fuck, I would definitely say that's a high. And two, bigger opportunities like getting bigger stages in different cities, I definitely feel like that was one of the biggest high for me because I was doing a lot of shows here, like just really in the south and when we went on tour um, a couple months ago, that was really like an eye opener for me. It showed me that there was like way more out there in the world than what I've been experiencing. I don't know, it just kind of made me realize like me and my problems are a little small. Uh, sure. Indeed. So, what, have you experienced any lows? Oh, yeah. Like, you know, like I told you before, you meet some really, like, grimy, like, people who really, who see your potential. And instead of trying to help you grow that potential, they want to take advantage of it and use it to help themselves. That's definitely, like, a really shitty thing. Um, not not have enough money to do what you want to do is definitely a big low because I know like a lot of artists want to be at home loud and they want to be at festivals but the reality of the situation is like you can get there with your talent and your potential like you feel me on a win but you really got to put in the work you know what I'm saying sure indeed and uh like you said man it's, it's very expensive to get into this music game so you need to like utilize your resources and also man it's all about really building a team like we said in uh, in day three of the vlog or whatnot, what God was saying, man, the winning army, the team, man, if you build a team, a lot of these, uh, you know, things as far as like money, you can kind of like alleviate that a little bit better. So uh, I like that you brought that up. Um, 
have you ever experienced any failure, you know, in this journey as far as, you know, making music or something that you might have would have thought was a failure that it really wasn't? And if you have, what did you learn from that failure that, you know, pretty much turned the limits into lemonade? Hmm. Um, well, to be real with you, I feel like being an artist is all about trial and error. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's literally you trying out different things and seeing what's best for you. You gotta try out different sounds, like you know, especially when you start out doing music. You gotta try out different images, like you between what fits your aesthetic best. Like all of that shit kind of comes into play. So I really feel like, and then too, another thing is not like is having some shit set up and not being able to get there. Like I've had shows in Phoenix that I haven't been able to get to because I'm all the way on the other side of the country. Like you know what I'm saying? So. That, that's really it. It's a, it's a lot of those that come with this shit, but you got really got to stay optimistic and keep kind of working. And that perseverance is really what's going to pay off. Man. Exactly, perseverance. I'm good at word right there. Um, so, question: um, What's the most valuable lesson that you've learned since you've been on your journey? Stay true. Oh my God, stay ten toes. Because not only will your fans know if you phony. Like, you know what I'm saying? But the people who, like, yo, the people who know you, know you. Like, you know what I'm saying? So if you portraying this image in your music, and that's another reason, too, like, I'm a rock star. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that's something that I really want to big express through my music. And how can you be a rock star without rocking out? Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, stay true to yourself. For real, for real. You know who you are. Be who you are. True indeed. So question, especially now in this pivotal moment where you guys, you you actually have your own space now to create and build upon that. What do you see? Real quick, yes, sir. big shout out to Gotti. Um, Salute me, to Gotti, man. Yeah. John Bonanno, man. Host House, man. You, Rep -Sum. you put me in position at the right time. This shit is really fun. Like, we right now we need the bare bones of, you feel me, our facility. We just got it yesterday. But you feel me, give us some time. And I promise you, just, it's going to jump. It's not even just going to be a studio. It's going to be a multi media facility like i want this shit to really be a trademark and a brand when people come through huntsville and that's that's what we're working towards right now for real, for real. shout out actually, to my team too look that was actually the next question what do you see your brand of uh, what you're building in the next five to ten years i really want to build an empire crazy too i was actually just watching empire too <laughs> he, like, he started off in this little garage we moved up to a building and i feel like truthfully with the right team and the right resources, I feel like it can be just as big, if not even bigger. So I, I really want to create my own empire with this team. Okay. So question, um, how did you educate yourself as far as like, because you pretty much, you're very hands on, you make your own beats, you, yeah. you record your own vocals, you do the mixing and master engineering. Were you school taught or did you teach everything yourself? Um, I went to a performing arts school, but you had to be able to play to get in. They taught me music theory. That's about really the only thing I learned outside of like the general studies. Um, other than that, like it's it's really up to you to like take the like take your own path. Like you know what I'm saying? So. It Taking that initiative, yeah. you gotta take that initiative. Okay. So, if you could go back in time to like when Kuna decided to go on this journey to where you're at now, what would you tell the old Kuna to help on the path? Oh my God, leave these girls alone! <laughs> <laughs> leave them alone. Wait till you get the bands up. You feel me? Because regardless, they gonna come. Is there's more women than there are men. You know I me, mean? so you might as well take that time, work on yourself, get your get get your brand right. You feel what I'm saying? I feel like every man should brand himself. Every man should have a business. Every man should get keys. You feel know I me? Mean? Ladies, women alone. It's a distraction, man. Especially when you live in that rock star lifestyle. They just want to be a part of the band. They just want to travel with the band. They group. It. So you say, man, it's a distraction, man. Stay away from it, man. I see a lot of brothers, man, getting the music game and. And women, man, like you said, man, it's fun. I'm glad you said we keep it all the way thorough, man. No kizzy and none of this vlog. <laughs> so I like to ask a couple hypothetical questions just because I like to see how people think, okay. you know, as far as getting perspective. 
If you had fifty thousand dollars right now, free money, what would you invest in right now? A living. I got a team of the hardest niggas that I know, including myself, and I feel like money is the only thing we need for the world to hear us. So fifty thousand dollars will go straight into a label. I'm gonna put us in the UK. We're gonna be in Japan. And we gonna have the craziest videos, and we gonna have a stupid, a bigger HQ than this, like immediately. That would be the first thing is to up, go ahead and upgrade this building and get it right. Yeah. So, question: Would you rather have five average workers, or would you just have one above average worker to help you build upon this brand? What you build upon? One. You only show me the. You only show me the way you think. See so if you got uh, five motherfuckers who not really doing shit in your business, not really doing shit, but you got one motherfucker who with you every day and he going dumb and he waking you up out your sleep to come get to work. I know we gonna we gonna flourish and we gonna thrive, and I know that when the business grows, we'll find other like-minded people with the same drive. Sure. Okay. Also, I wanna ask, how many hours do you invest into your craft and your business to build this brand? Or how many? Like, soon as Kunai wakes up, like, how many hours do you put in this every day? As soon as Kunai wakes up, Kunai smokes a boy and gets in the studio. Hmm. That's, I'm not even gonna lie, on average, I maybe sleep like four to six hours a day, for real, for real. And the other time, I'm either trying to get money so I can fund what I want to do, or I'm trying to get money so I can do what I want to do. It. <laughs> well, like, so, it, it, it's, if I'm not in the studio, then I'm getting money. That's the only other, that's the only other. So pretty much 24-7 grind, man. I'm talking about as soon as his, his, his feet hit the pavement, we run into the money, we run into our, you know, our passion, which is the craft, man. Listen, know. when they put me in the ground, then I'll stay in one place. But until then, I'm ready to go. Okay. Let's walk out. So question, where can we find your music? Everything on everything, everything, on every platform, every store you could think of. I'm dead. You just like, it just call my name and I'm in. Um, you got any announcements that you want to announce to the people? Um, I'm definitely going to shoot two crazy ass videos. Um, I definitely plan on going to different cities. Um, I'm going to start shooting my skate documentary too. Uh, so definitely look for me in your city. I'll be at your local park. I'm going to be giving out free clothes and shit too. We're going to be throwing down. Um, other than that, like, Post House 256, you feel me? We finally just got a solid team in here. Our people's have been over there working the whole time. Um, again, Digital Skylines just dropped on all platforms. The album is Fifty Shades of Kunai. Mm. And it's literally an aurora of every sound that I mastered and I fell in love with. And I definitely think that people should go check that out. It's very diverse. Okay. Also, I want, to, uh, I want to ask you, sum up your whole musical journey of building this brand in one word. Trip. <laughs> this whole journey has been a fucking trip, dude. What? Oh God. I, that's that's what I definitely have to sum this up as. I have to sum this up as a trip. This life is a fucking trip. But this journey of finding myself, figuring out who I want to be, figuring out how to do it, meeting people who is going to help me learn how to do it, all of that shit has been a trip. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So also, uh, what inspired? Like, who inspires you? I know, I know your team inspires you most definitely, you know what I'm saying, your circle of brothers and whatnot, but what inspires you to just keep pushing far forward and going as hard as you do? Really, I'm just competitive, and I, I go on social media, and I hear a nigga who's got a whole bunch of likes, and his song be ass, and I just be like, damn, I could do this shit way better, so I'm going to do it way better. I guess that's really like the bottom line inspiration. I just don't want to let another nigga get ahead of me. You know what I mean? Yeah. At the end of the day, I don't want to lose. I dig that, man. Gotta have that competitive spirit, man. But always keep be, keep it in perspective. Yeah. And I always have to do it too, man. That's why I like my biggest rap artist and influence is Starlito. And that out, man, I'm at war with myself. I'm not out. I'm not at war with anything outside of myself, man. It's all me. But I am paying attention to the field because, like I said, these are all players in the game. So. Like you say, man, it's it's that motivation, it's the thing to keep that fire burning as far as entrepreneurship and building upon this brand and also uh, being innovative. You feel yeah. me? Like you're saying, man, it's a lot of rappers, man, they all sound alike. And this is what 
made me gravitate towards y'all since I first met y'all at that show because y'all had your own style, your own swag, your own everything, man, and y'all were comfortable enough to do it no matter, you know, people were looking, oh, that looks weird. It didn't matter, man, y'all stood true to who y'all are, man. Uh, uh, authenticity. Yes, y'all don't catch me messing up because I'm horrible with words, but just being authentic to self, man. So I gotta salute y'all, man, on that, man, for real, for real, dog. Hey, and then another thing, too, this man right here has been following me. I've been down here in the South for maybe, like, I think, like, five years right now, and I met him during my first year here, and, like, that first year here was, like, meeting the right motherfuckers to put you in the city, and this, one, this man right here is one of the right motherfuckers to talk to you, bro. All the way down to signs and symbols, you feel me? Like yeah. I, I've been with them, like you know what I'm saying? They do good business, and that's another reason why I'm gonna keep working with them. So if y'all get y'all in here with this man, bro, he gonna get y'all right. I'm telling y'all, man, music too. I need music, man. Artists, if you got music, I want to use the local music. I don't want no industry uh, sound. I know indies. too many artists, bro. Too many artists, bro. Send if y'all need an interview, send him your music, send bro. Music, man. He's send just trying to. He's just trying to fuck. With the community, and it's know? just it's just like we were talking about yesterday, man. Just uh, cross marketing, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like your fan base is gonna see this. They're gonna help me bring my numbers up. My fan base is gonna see this. They're gonna bring your numbers up. So it's just that's that's building business relationships, yeah. man. And I'm in business. Y'all need to understand this, man. Business relationship is like gold. Okay, if. This person right here don't like you personally, why would they want to do business with you? And they might be the ones that put you in the right spot, man, or plug you in with the right people. So relationships, man, business relationships will take you. Be long careful way. burning bridges. That shit will really fuck you up, especially in the music industry because it, it's very in, in different places it's very tight knit. So if you go and try to beef with this community, you beef in with their whole community. Like you know what I'm saying? You don't want to, you, you don't want to be the bad guy in the industry. You, you, you want to be the person that's trying to help build the industry up. And I feel like that's what's going to take you first. Yeah, so, but I appreciate you, man, doing the interview, man, to sit down Sunday. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's going to inspire somebody, man, watching this, especially another music artist. That's us thinking bro. about, you know, just uh, monetizing on their craft, man. You can actually get paid in the music, but you have to know the business side, so. But gratitude, man. Uh, any questions, concerns, comments, man, please feel free to email me at sardavid83 at gmail.com. Questions, concerns, comments, like the brother was saying. Musicians, you got music, you want to set up interviews, please plug in with me. And uh, yeah, this works. So peace to the family and the tribe, man, from uh, you know, Brother Divine, Brother Kunai, and the whole gang. Get the gang, show the gang, man. We all live, show the gang. Peace from the family, man.